Hey there, YouTube. I'm Elon Osborne, and this is my YouTube channel where I talk about movies, audio, and music. But more specifically, this is my third installment of Dolby Atmos systems that are more affordable than you think. If your budget is under $1,000, I have a video for that. If your budget is $1,500, I have a video for that. Link in description. But this video is for those who are thinking of going to what I call level four, since this is a system that we use a receiver with pre-outs and the use of an external amplifier. Wow. Even though I will talk about specific components that will keep us under the $3,000 mark, this is going to be just a jumping off point. If you prefer a particular brand over another, and it just happens to be a little bit more expensive, whatever. this will just give you a sense of the types of components to consider when building this kind of home theater system. Here we go. One. The component to tie everything all together, control your system, control your streaming device, control your 4K Blu-ray player, and stream music from is your audio video receiver. And for this setup, you're going to need one with 11 channels. And the most affordable receiver I could find that can handle 11 channels is the Denon AVR X3700H, which retails for about $1,200 US. But as you can see, it says it's only a nine channel receiver, but with the help of a two channel external amplifier, a total of 11 channels of audio can be fed through and controlled by this receiver. And it's capable of doing so because of these pre-outs. Pre-out just means it can take an audio signal pre or before it gets to the internal amplifier and reroute it to be powered by an external amplifier. Side note. There are quite a few receivers out there in the $1,500 range that will do the same thing because they also have pre-outs. One that I would recommend is the Marantz SR6015, which is the same class as the Denon, having up to nine channels amplified internally, but being able to handle 11 channels with the help of an external two-channel amplifier. But it's Marantz, so it's just gonna be a little bit more expensive than the Denon. Two. Let's talk about a stereo amp, shall we? To stay under that $3,000 mark, I would recommend the Audio Source Amp 100VS. It's a 50 watt per channel external amp that retails for $139 US. So since it only outputs 50 watts per channel, I would recommend using this external amp for your surround speakers, since they don't require as much power as your front soundstage, for example. So I would honestly recommend using this external amplifier for your surround back channels by plugging RCA cables into these preouts here, labeled surround back, and going into these RCA inputs labeled main in. But one more connection you need is the trigger, which helps the receiver and the amplifier talk to each other. All you need is a standard 3.5 millimeter mono cable. You know, it kind of looks like a headphone jack, but it has it on both ends and it's got one black stripe. Just plug one end into the trigger out on the Denon receiver and plug the other end on the trigger in on the amp. Boom, side note. You could save even more money and completely skip this step to have an external amplifier just using the nine internal amps of the Denon receiver to make a 7.2.2 surround sound system. I'll explain more in a little bit. But on the flip side, if you wanna splurge and spend a little bit more on the amp, I'd recommend the Emotiva BaseX A300 amp, which can drive 150 watts per channel and retails for $399 US. And if you go this route, since it can push out a lot more power, I'd recommend using it to power your front left and right speakers because the speakers I'm about to mention can handle that much power. Three. The core speaker system is the same one that I mentioned in the $1,500 budget Atmos video that I did. The Klipsch 5.0.2 Dolby Atmos surround sound system at Costco, which they sell for an astounding $899 US. It comes with two R625FA floor standing speakers that have built-in upward firing Atmos height channels, one R52C center channel speaker and two R41M bookshelf speakers. Note. This is a bundle that anyone can get online. This is not a members only item. But if you are a member or know somebody who is, this is where we can get into fully immersive soundstage territory without having to spend five or eight or 10 grand. 
because Costco members can get the R41M bookshelf speakers on their own for $140. But get this, certain times of the year, they go on sale for $90 a pair. And with the system that I'll be explaining, we're going to need either one or two additional pairs of those R41M bookshelf speakers. Four. Since that bundle says 5.0.2, that 0, .0 means it does not come with a subwoofer. Those floor standing speakers can handle bass pretty darn well by themselves. Since their frequency response dips down to a rumbling 38 hertz. But you know, a subwoofer is a subwoofer, right? And if you know this channel at all, two subwoofers is better than one. Costco to the rescue again! We're gonna get two, count them, two Klipsch R12 SW subwoofers. Year round, these subwoofers are $250 each, but certain times of the year, you'll find them on sale for $169. So you might want to wait for that. Five. These are good old fashioned passive speakers, so you're going to need some speaker wire to connect them to the receiver. The Atmos bundle from Costco does come with three 15 foot and two 25 foot speaker wires. But to account for the additional speakers we get, we're just going to need more speaker wire. These speakers can handle 12 gauge, but 12 gauge is very thick and very expensive because of it. So get yourself some 14 gauge copper wire from Monoprice because they will last a long time. And remember to overestimate how much you actually need. Six. With 11 channels total, we have quite a few options for speaker placement. For those of you who do not want to worry about mounting anything to the ceiling, we're just going to go over the 9.2.2 system first. The R625 FA tower speakers go on either side of the TV. The R52 center channel obviously goes in the center, either mounted right below or right above the TV or on a speaker stand. Next, we'll add two R41M bookshelf speakers on the sides to be our wide channels. Again, depending on your space and the size of your space, they can either be mounted to the wall or put on speaker stands. Next, we add another pair of R41M bookshelf speakers to the sides of our main listening position to be our surrounds. Now we'll add the final pair of R41M bookshelf speakers to be our surround back channels. And last but not least, we'll add the two subwoofers on either side of the TV. So that means we have nine channels at ear level, two subwoofers, and two upward firing speakers firing at the ceiling, giving us a truly immersive 9.2.2 Dolby Atmos system. One variant that you might want is the 7.2.4 configuration. Instead of having left and right wide channels, mount two of those bookshelf speakers behind you on the ceiling and pointed down at your main listening position. I'll leave a link in the description below to a video that shows you how to mount them on a ceiling. And lastly, if you don't wanna go this big, you could just get one additional pair of the R41M bookshelf speakers, giving you that 7.2.2 system that I spoke of earlier. Or if you don't mind mounting to the ceiling, you could make a 5.2.4 system. So many possibilities. Recap. So for the larger system, we got ourselves a Denon X3700H at $1199 US, an audio source two channel external amp for $139, a 5.0.2 Dolby Atmos surround system for $899, two more pairs of R41M bookshelf speakers at $140 a piece, and two R12 SW subwoofers at $249 a piece, bringing our total to $3,000. $15. But if you happen to get the bookshelf speakers and subwoofers on sale at Costco, that brings the total down to $2,755 for a brand new, completely immersive and powerful 9.2.2 or 7.2.4 Dolby Atmos system. And if you opted for the smaller system, taking away one of those bookshelf speaker pairs and the external amp, that'll give you a total of $2,526 for an immersive 7.2.2 or 5.2.4 Dolby Atmos system. Dolby Atmos achievement unlocked. <coughs> If your budget is, if your budget, but it, but it, if your but it, because the speakers I'm about to talk about, <laughs> if you prefer, prefer. So there you have it, folks. 
Are you thinking of upgrading to a beast of a surround sound system like this? Would you get these particular components? Would you go for some options that are a little more expensive? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss another Be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss another video like this one. And of course, always be listening. Always. Robot.